folks, this is Jasper with uh, Southwest Madison County Fire Protection District, uh, Madison County, Mississippi. And I'm gonna go through uh, some of the process for pumping the fire truck, uh, specifically engaging the pump, pumping water, and setting the relief valve. Um, common skills that you have to do when pumping a fire truck. So first we're gonna climb up in the cab. I hope you can hear this. First thing we're going to do, make sure that the parking brake is set, which it is, put our foot on the brake, reach down here to this handle, flip it down, get a green light, says okay to pump, reach over here to the transmission, put it in drive, goes into fourth gear, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm showing about 15 miles per hour on the uh, speedometer here and the accelerator is disconnected. So let's go out here to the pump panel. Five things you have to do when pumping. Water in, water out, set, regulate, and cool. Tank to pump, I've already pulled this, water in. I'm recirculating by putting uh, water back in the tank fill position. This is the intake, this is the discharge. This is the throttle here. Go ahead and run the pressure up a little bit. I'm gonna set it to about 150. All right, that's water in, water out. Now I've got it set. Now I need to regulate it. So I'm going to come over here to the relief valve. One, two, three, four, five. Should come on pretty soon. There. Six. About every half turn is 10 pounds. Now what's happening is water's going from the discharge side back into the suction side. Now when I raise RPM, it does not go up on the discharge. Back the pressure down, relief light goes out. Bring it back up. And our light comes back on. So we know the relief valve is working properly. I like to keep it set at about 200 pounds. We've got some fairly long uh, pre-connects up here, so we have to run it at pretty high pressure. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five half turns. That ought to give me about 200 PSI. Quickly, if something goes wrong, you can just press that in like that, and it brings the pump back to idle. Now, you want to check over here our coolant temperature, oil pressure, and voltage. Voltage is uh, on these international trucks. You got to make sure it doesn't get much below this 13 volts. But um, if the water temperature gets high, there is a snubber valve down here that I can open. The little tag came off a long time ago, but I can open that one up. <coughs> Excuse me. And that'll send water from the pump back through a heat exchanger in the truck's engine and pull the radiator down. Um, I've never used that, but it's there if we need it. So, I'm gonna take it out of pump gear now. Uh, gonna come out here, go back up in the cab. Become fully seated in the cab with foot on the service brake. Reach over, pop it up into neutral. Neutral, our yellow light goes out. Okay. And now we're back into uh, 
Now we can drive down the road. The transmission has gone from the pump back into the wheels. So, hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye.